interesting talk on the basic topic in physics since we know that the things which we can see by using our naked eyes we believe on that things and the classical mechanics is the subject which believes on the things which you can see by using our eyes so for this particular subject we have jayshri bhaigde it here uh, with us and again we have president professor bharat kangude and uh, vice president professor varsha joshi with us so i welcome dr jayshri bhaigde and uh, i would like to as to the vice president of iapt sub regional council sir varsha joshi ma'am to introduce today's speaker thank you kakade sir i would like to welcome dr jayashree bagode and introduce her formally she has done her msc md and phd from savitribai phule pune university presently she is working in department of physics vidya pratishthan college baramati as pg coordinator and academic research coordinator she has a teaching experience of 23 years and research experience of 9 years she has to her credit 11 national and international publications and more than 30 papers in conference proceedings she has written books for second and third year bsc and written many articles in magazines and newspapers she has completed three research projects and is presently working on three more projects she is a recognized phd guide of savitribai phule pune university her research interests are nano materials biophysics energy studies and acoustics she has been awarded by vidya gaurav puraskar by sangram pratishthan pune in 2015 with this brief introduction i would like to welcome madam and request her to start with her presentation thank you okay thank you very much uh, okay thanks thank a lot madam yeah, yeah. Huh. good evening everybody i would like to request to bagode ma'am please start your presentation and deliver your talk on the topic of classical mechanics okay thank you dr sandeep sir uh, good evening everybody uh, i would at first i would like to thank the president of this iapt src at pune region uh, professor dr bharat kangude sir then uh, the main leader uh, of uh, this particular lecture series uh, that is nothing but the actual convener and the mediator between uh, this particular lecture series conducted by this iapt uh, uh, you are uh, dr sandeep kakade sir from sp college pune vice president of uh, this lecture series and iapt for the same that is michael uh, professor uh, dr varsha joshi madam and all the authorities uh, related to this particular uh, series are there that lecture series which uh, will conducted for this ngp exams are here so and my dear students again once again a very good evening to one and all here uh, dear friends uh, whenever i come across uh, for finding out the actual contents in these lecture series regarding to uh, various branches of other physical sciences you well then especially uh, we have an communication with uh, dr sandeep kakade sir and what are the fantastic idea behind that of our the mechanics of physical science and basically you know that uh, what is the actual motion right from that of our the particular classical physics is there and that's why uh, whenever uh, i have gone through that particular topics related to this ngp exams are there i have seen uh, the certain uh, fundas uh, which are Uh, should which are here focused on the particular type of these questions are there and the questions are focused obviously with respect to the fundas uh, which you people uh, was already or had already studied at your 11th and 12th science uh, exams are there and uh, especially 
the ngp has its due credit related to the same that is of your iit jam and then also in spm and all uh, those competitive examinations are there today it is the earnest need of uh, the particular era and the particular modern age is your and that's why now uh, let us have a particular uh, brief introduction uh, uh, related uh, to this particular classical physics here so welcome uh, here and uh, let us focus on those topics of classical physics are here thank you just a minute i am going to share my screen here yes is it visible to you sandeep sir yes ma'am it's visible sandeep sir whether the no screen is visible to you yeah it is visible yeah okay thank you very much sir so dear friends today's topic is of your classical mechanics and especially uh, i am focusing or concentrating on the particular topics are here going to concentrate on such a particular system that is nothing but motion of system of particles and rigid body along with the center of mass and rotational motion the brief theme is here motion of system of particles and rigid body and under this particular uh, broad theme uh, i have to concentrate here on the especially the most important is your what is the concept of cm and uh, accordingly the rotational motion is your so the outline of the topic is like that here that is first of all uh, we have to concentrate on the concept of cm along with the sub topics are here related to the same that is cm of two particle system then how we have to generalize it towards the n number of particles are there then obviously the motion of cm of the system along with the very most important concept of here linear momentum conservation and cm similarly angular momentum conservation and cm and then afterward the most important topic obviously that relates with your the kepler's law and especially it focuses the relation between that of here this angular momentum and your kepler's second law is your and what is the center of gravity along with certain illustrations and certain problem uh, obviously in case of the exercises are there so first of all this is the particular topic that i want to cover and then afterward we have to see here what is the actual concept of the gravitation so under this now uh, we have to focus here on newton's law of gravitation with respect to the escape velocity and escape energy and again the sub contents related to the same what is the concept of the cm general uh, generalization to n particles and basically in the case of that of here this gravitation what are the actual understanding of your kepler's laws of planetary motion is your now uh, whenever we proceed further for uh, talking about the actual concept of cm let us see what are the basic uh, introductory concepts related to this topic is your so uh, we have to learn few important definitions before moving further obviously the most important first of all the particular definition is nothing but what do you mean by the particle what is the actual concept of an particle is your so basically an object whose mass is finite and whenever it has a size that is negligible in comparison to the path traveled by it then that particular object which is nothing but you are a particle what do you mean by system because here we have to concentrate on the certain system of particles are there whenever we have to study the concept of center of mass here related to that of here the discrete n number of particles are there that is nothing but system of particles are there so uh, whenever we come across for finding out this classical meaning of the system is your then what is the system is your that is it is nothing but a collection of a very large number of particles which mutually interact with one another so 
when we consider that a body having a finite size then that body should be regarded as a system because it is made up of large number of particles interacting with one another basically these are the very important concepts that we have we must know about whenever we have to concentrate on the further study of your concept of cm and whatever may be the topic related to the same then the next most important uh, terminologies is there what do you mean by the internal forces are there external forces are there because whenever we come across for finding out these the concepts are there in classical physics especially we must know about its features are there so the internal forces are nothing but the actual mutual forces exerted by the particles of system on one another and those are your the internal forces are there in classical physics we have designated it with the symbolic representation that is fi bar here f external whenever we have to put a suffix towards that of these forces are there what are, whatever may be the total forces acting on these particular types are there or uh, within a given system of particles are there that is obviously equal to the combination of these internal as well as the external forces are there so uh, at least when we come across for finding out the forces uh, we have in mind the concept of only the external forces are here but uh, see basically these are the internal forces because these are the mutual forces exerted by the particles of system on one another here and whatever may be the external forces which are obviously the outside forces uh, definitely exerted on an object by a certain or with the uh, meaning or a due tenure of an external agency is here it is known as were the external forces so such a force changes the velocity of an object is here then obviously we uh, find out the actual concept of that of here a rigid body always we come across for uh, these particular terms are there while we are studying the certain physical concepts are there especially in classical physics or the mechanics as well so the rigid body is nothing but it is the collection of the particles which can be taken to have a discrete or continuation distribution right and whenever we have to consider such a particular continuous distribution then obviously the inter particle distances within the rigid body remains fixed and uh, they do not vary or uh, do not get change here and whenever we have to describe such a motion of a rigid body here uh, we can use uh, generally the coordinate systems are there and that is one of the most important concept is of here the inertial frame and obviously the second one is nothing but uh, which is the body fixed frame is over right uh, we uh, are coming across for finding out uh, such a beautiful concepts while we are going to concentrate on these particular topics are there now the most important concept is here that is what do you mean by the center of mass so dear friends uh, for a system of particles whenever uh, we consider the center of mass it is that point uh, at which its total mass right that is the whole mass of the body see here whenever we have to consider the center of mass of a body means we have to consider the actual system of particles are there so when we come across for finding out this is the actual system then this is a point where the entire mass of the body or the system of particle body means here obviously the particular object or the particles which are consisting of many number of the particles are there as i already predicted what do you mean by the system is your so obviously it is of system of particles and that supposed to be concentrated so in simple way it is a particular point where the entire mass of that of your the body is supposed to be concentrated here and hence for any system whenever we have to consider the cm obviously the whole mass of the system can be supposed to be concentrated and here the motion of that of here the system can be defined here in terms of its cm is your so when we consider an object the cm is nothing but its average position of all the particles of mass that constitute the object and uh, whenever we have to consider the center of mass for that of here the symmetrical object then with uniform composition is at its geometrical center 
for example whenever we have to consider the same of such an symmetrical object like that of here the uh, sphere or cylinder or rod etc and when we on the contrary when we consider the same of a asymmetrical object it is not at its geometrical center so uh, the one of the most exa uh, uh, common example or the popular example here you know basically that is your baseball bat has more of its mass towards one end is your so uh, whenever we come across for finding out the continuation in these or regarding this particular uh, concept of cm is your uh, there are uh, so many number of the sub things or the topics uh, that obviously uh, which we will have to focus on the same what are those here whenever we have to consider the center of mass of two bodies it lies in a straight line so here m1 and m2 are the two bodies as shown in this figure you know basically that is m1 and m2 are these two bodies are there such that m1 is at a distance x1 right from the origin o and m2 is at a distance x2 from the origin o is given so uh, by the concept of same we have to write here what is that x that is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 is your similarly when we have to consider the actual concept of your center of mass of two particle systems are there see here as shown in that of here the figure when we come across for finding out these two particles are there having masses m1 and m2 which are situated uh, at a distance of your actually whenever we have to represent it is in vector notation r1 bar from the origin m2 will be situated at r2 bar from that of here the origin cb its center of mass and uh, the position vector for the same is uh, designated with the symbolic representation of rc bar is your so uh, if we assume here the origin to be at the cm is there then this vector rc bar vanishes right see here this is the one of the most important basic concept is here if we assume the origin to be at the cm then the vector rc bar vanishes and obviously we have from the above equation what are we that is m1 r1 bar plus m2 r2 bar is equal to 0 and then we have to write m1 r1 is equal to m2 r2 in terms of its component form or we have to write uh, r1 magnitude form whenever we have to consider r1 by r2 is equal to m2 by m1 and obviously we have to represent these two position vectors are there that is equal to r1 and r2 when we have to find out the actual result obtained then this particular type of the uh, subscription whenever we have to write it is in the same sense that is the subcase of that of here the origin is one well. Similarly, uh, in continuation with respect to this CM, uh, when we have to consider this is of here the several particles, then obviously uh, these are given as per as that of here thus uh, particular translation motion. On the other hand, whenever we have to consider this is the concept of here center of mass for that of here the several particles, then here uh, actually when we come across for finding out the center of mass concept between uh, the actual two particles are there actually it lies between the two particles on the line joining here right and which divides the distance between the particular uh, line joining between them and in the inverse uh, ratio of their respective masses that I, as i already uh, shown you in the previous slide as well uh, then we, when we consider for that of here the uh, several particle systems are there as i already uh, told you that whenever we have to consider it is in terms of several particles are there suppose these coordinates of the particles of masses m1 and m2 which are uh, properly or respectively represented by the coordinate system x1 y1 z1 along with x2 y2 z2 and so on is there then we know basically that is the position vector for the same it can be represented by uh, its resultant capital r bar with respect to cm and hence uh, here we have to write here in terms of vector notation x cm i bar plus uh, that is of here y cm j bar plus z cm of k bar in terms of unit vectors are there and the, thus uh, we have to consider 
this is the actual uh, center of mass for that of here the several particles representing its magnitude and uh, generally when we solve uh, this particular type of equations are there in the same manner we have to represent x is equal to summation of mi xi uh, to to the uh, total mass of that of here the entire system then y is equal to summation mi yi with respect to the same whole mass of that of here the system z is equal to summation mi Z, zi towards that of here the mass of that of here the particular system is your now this uh, particular uh, topic then be uh, continuously uh, whenever we have to cover uh, related uh, whenever we have to cover the subtopics related to the same that is of here the continuous distribution of mass is there then obviously we come across for finding out the same and uh, generally there are uh, so many number of the features related to the same but uh, before proceeding further we must know what is the exact concept of your cm and that of here the cg is equal uh, as uh, we have already seen here that is center of mass of a body is nothing but it is a point where the whole mass of a body may be assumed to be concentrated for describing its translation motion is equal on the another hand cg see here cm and cg so obviously cg means that of your center of gravity which is the point at which the resultant of these gravitational forces on all the particles of the body acts here and hence the one of the most uh, important idea behind it is nothing but the cg is nothing but the point at which the resultant of the gravitational forces on all the particles of the body acts here we have to keep remember in mind the one of the most important uh, note is your what is that here for many objects these two points are exactly uh, in the same place here but uh, they are only the same when the gravitational field is uniform across an object is your and whenever we have to consider the uniform gravitational field such as obviously a very popular example that of our earth of, uh, on a small body is your then the cg coincides with the center of mass is your a very beautiful concept and what is the exact difference between your center of mass and that of your the center of gravity is your this is the same whenever we have to continue the topic related to that of your the very small example as shown in that of your this slide that is when we consider a thin rod of length l is your and the origin to be at the geometric center of the rod is there and x axis to be along the length of the rod then what is that here on the basis of the reflection symmetry uh, we come across for finding out that there, there must be an element of the same mass dm which is located at this minus x is your and the net contribution when we come across for finding out uh, the net contribution of uh, such a pair is your that should be integral and hence the integrals x uh, dn itself is zero so thus the cum coincides here again with the geometrical center is your then uh, again the next slide uh, shows you about the certain examples uh, related to that of here the center of mass concepts are there of your continuous distribution of mass how we can find out uh, the total particular distribution of the mass is your and uh, the uh, arbor cm that is the actual position vector with respect to that of here the center of mass concept as i uh, already uh, told you that it is equal to integral r bar dm with respect to the total entire mass of the system of particles are there where what is that uh, capital m that is the same uh, where that m is equal to integration of dm is equal and we have to find out this is the semicircular ring of radius r here it is uh, the actual cm which is located uh, for a particular distance it has uh, shown in this figure semicircular disk is your circular arc is your and uh, also the next slide shows you the actual body uh, and what is its corresponding position of center of mass is your so when we come across for thin circular ring having a radius r obviously the com uh, which is at the center the figure shows you the same concept circular disk having radius r it is at obviously the center 
whenever we have to consider a thin rod having length l then it is at half the length is your and then whenever we have to consider the solid sphere of radius r obviously it is at its center is your so uh, when we come across for finding out uh, the continuation with respect to the position and uh, center of mass with respect to the system of particles these are the uh, particular features of the acceleration and how we have a uh, have an idea about that of your the same concept of your the uh, linear momentum of a system of particles obviously which is the product of mass of the system with velocity of its center of mass is given and we know that uh, from newton second law of motion it is the actual uh, ddt of m of v bar c m is your that is nothing but the rate of change of the momentum is your obviously whenever the external forces are absent then naturally this uh, velocity is constant and that is nothing but where in theoretical approach whenever we have to conclude then if no external forces acts on a system the velocity of its cm remains constant and the velocity of this cm which is unaffected by that of your the internal forces are there now as per as you were the ngp exam question paper is concerned uh, i have seen uh, certain kinds of the logical based examples are there see uh, one of the particular example is like that here uh, a child uh, which sits stationary at one end of a long trolley moving uniformly with a speed v on a smooth horizontal floor if the child gets up and runs about on the trolley in any manner what is the speed of the cm of the system here the system is consisting of your both that is of your trolley as well as the child so i have written there that is trolley plus child is your what is the exact solution for uh, such a type of problems are here in this case whenever we have to consider this is the particular system that is trolley along with the child considering with respect to this system then obviously there are no external forces are involved here and the force only involved in this case that is whenever the child is running right the force involved in the running of child see here in the figure it can be shown here or uh, it should be given that is if the child gets up and runs about on the trolley in any manner so the force involved in running of the child and that is obviously uh, the friction force which becomes internal so the speed of cm of this system remains constant and it should be asked here uh, what is that uh, exact uh, the particular speed of the cm of the system which consisting of this trolley and the child is your next is the same whenever we have to consider the two particles of masses 1 kg and 5 kg are there which are having the same speed of 2 meter per second and 6 meter per second on a smooth horizontal surface we have to find out the speed of the cm it is a very simple example directly you have to put uh, by using the formula vcm is equal to m1 v1 bar plus m2 v2 bar upon m1 plus m2 and then find out the answer uh, which is here 3.33 meter per second similarly such type of examples are there when we come across for finding out the block having mass capital m is placed on the top of a bigger block of mass 10 here as shown in the figure all the surfaces are frictionless so the system is released from rest here and you have to find out the distance moved by this bigger block at the instant when the smaller block reaches the ground so when we have to consider the solution towards such a problem then we know that basically the bigger block moves towards right by distance x huh? when the smaller block will move towards left by distance c here actual the total distance is as shown in the figure is equal 2.2 meter and hence the second uh, actual smaller block will move towards left by distance of 2.2 minus x is equal and whenever we have to consider now both the blocks together as a system that is of here this bigger and you are the smaller then the horizontal position of the cm which remains the same 
and the sum of the moments about this cm is zero that therefore we have to write in this manner summation of mix up to cm is equal to zero that is the complete uh, equation will take this form m of 2.2 minus x is equal to what is this 10 mx is equal to zero which implies here by solving what is the uh, actual distance which move by the bigger block uh, so uh, it will come that is of here the 0.2 meter is one. Now again uh, while uh, proceeding further topics are there or we have to concentrate the particular concept of linear momentum conservation and CM. Uh, whenever we have to consider the concept of momentum basically you know that what is the momentum of a system of particles is here. Obviously, it is the um, symbolically when we have to write in terms of linear momentum. So it is the uh, total mass of the system and the velocity of its uh, COM is your not only the velocity, it is the product of P is equal to MV. We have to designate in the same manner, but this is the velocity of its COM is your. So when we come across for finding out uh, the actual momentum, uh, capital P is equal to uh, the sum of all these particular n number of particles, moment of n number of particles are there. So it should be written in this manner, P is equal to P1 plus to Pn, M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus dash 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 plus Mn Vm is there. And whenever we have to consider capital V is the velocity of CON. So what are the Pi is there? Ith particle momentum is your and the whole momentum of the system of particles we have to write in this manner as per newton's second law you know that uh, the rate of change of momentum is nothing but the actual force we have to consider this equation dp by dt is equal to for external whenever this external force is upset obviously dp by dt that is equal to zero means what here that is p remains constant and the velocity of this cm remains constant and here that constant means naturally it is conserved. So whenever the external force on a body or the system of these particular particles are there, which is zero, then the internal forces can cause complex trajectory of this individual particle. But the COM, which actually moves with a constant velocity. And hence, naturally, whenever we have to come across for finding out the examples of uh, such a conservation of linear momentums are there, then this is the case as shown in that of here the figure for that of here the helium atom and that of here the deuteryasa which have opposite direction of velocity but the com will remain constant is uh, uh, sorry will remain at rest is one now the same concept of here the uh, further concept is of here the angular momentum conservation in case of rotational motion whenever we have to see the analogy between that of here the translational and the angular motor, uh, momentum uh, and the rotational motions are there the concepts are uh, the concepts are related to that of your the same angular momentum conservation are there what are the changes are here if the total external torque on a system of this uh, particular n number of system is zero then the total angular momentum of the system gets conserved here and hence obviously now instead of dp by dt we have to write here dl by dt is equal to zero which implies here l is equal to constant and uh, in this manner we have to write here l is equal to r bar cross p bar what is l l is equal to r bar cross p p means what is your that is mv so in uh, magnitude form we have to write here so v is equal to omega r which implies that l is equal to m r square omega we know that basically v is equal to r omega and that's why uh, this is uh, by putting the particular value in the above equation it gives me l is equal to mr square omega what is mr square as far as that of here the concept of mr is concerned it is a moment of inertia so l is equal to i omega and we basically know that the conservation of angular momentum whenever we have to consider that dl by dt is equal to zero that means here dl by dt is equal to dt of l we can represent in terms of concept of mi as it is i omega so dt of i omega is equal to uh, that is of here this point particular concept is equal to dl by dt but this is nothing but your torque so the external torque whenever acting on the system that is equal to zero 
that is nothing but it is upsane, then your i omega is equal to constant. So it is also a wonderful concept here that is angular momentum conservation. Logically, uh, these are the particular basics uh, which come across for finding out the MCQs are there. What are the solution towards this multiple choice questions are there, uh, which was asked here previously uh, in your NGP exams are there. Not only in NGP, but uh, uh, there are rather uh, so many number of such and competitive exams are there, which consist of your such type of objectives are there. So uh, you must have to clear your basics behind the same. That is the actual concepts of your center of mass along with the particular momentum. Uh, what do you mean by that of here? The conservation of linear momentum and that of here, the angular momentum are there. Along with uh, this is the particular concepts related to the same. That is of here, the angular momentum concept. And uh, as uh, I have already told you about the same, uh, how this is related to that of here, this uh, Kepler's laws of planetary motions are there and whenever we have to consider the particular concept of your Kepler's laws of planetary motion in case of especially the second law is your uh, so we know that the Kepler's second law of planetary motion uh, from the angular momentum consideration is your we have to see or we have to derive the relation from this angular momentum consideration is your Kepler's second law states that each planet which moves so that a line from the sun to the planet sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time is your. And for the motion of the earth and other planets around the sun, the centripetal force is provided by the gravitational acceleration of the sun is your. And so naturally the gravitational force is here a centripetal force. And uh, that is uh, actually it is a central force. Right? And that is nothing but here, it acts along the line joining the centers of the sun and that of here, the planet is your. Thus, the torque on the planet in their orbits is zero. And hence, naturally, whenever we come across for finding out the expression is your, that torque tau bar is equal to r bar cross f bar, that is equal to zero. And hence, here, uh, you know, basically, tau bar is equal to dl r by by dt is equal to uh, zero and that is l bar is equal to a constant and uh, it is a constant vector means the angular momentum of any planet around the sun is constant so basically when we are considering a planet uh, having mass m moving in an elliptical orbit around the sun then actually the angular uh, momentum of the planet uh, which is given by using the same concept of your kepler's law is your L bar is equal to 2m delta A bar divided by dt. And we know that this uh, delta A bar by dt, or we can write it is in the simple manner, dA by dt is equal to constant is your. Means uh, what is the meaning of uh, this particular concept is there? Because uh, there is a one question uh, which was asked previously in uh, 2019 uh, of NGP paper is your. Uh, that is comment on the same. That is angular momentum conservations and Kepler's second law. How uh, they are uh, both related with respect to each other. So the basic thing behind it is, it is that here. Uh, actually, this means that the time rate at which a planet sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time is, uh, is there. And hence, naturally, uh, as shown in the figure. See here, this figure uh, that shows you. If the planet takes the same time to go from A to B, right? Here it is uh, the same concept. Uh, by mistake, uh, uh, I have forgotten here to give the designation towards this particular periphery that is as A and B is your. So this is your A, uh, this is of your this B, and this is of your C, and this is the point you located here on the periphery that is of your D. So, uh, if the planet taken the same time to go from that of your A to B, see here, in this case, right from this side, right from this side, A to B is your, right? And from that of your C to B, so C to D is your. Then basically the shaded area are the same. See, the shaded area are the same. Hence, the line joining the sun and the planet here, Right, which sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of times are there. 
which is the Kepler's second law for the planetary motion in Jupiter. Note that this means that the, the planet must be moving faster when it is very closer to that of the sun. So obviously uh, for the motion of the earth and the planets around the sun in Jupiter, uh, the centripetal force is provided by the gravitational attraction of the sun in Jupiter. And hence it is a very important concept of that of here, the uh, actual um, angular momentum conservation and for the Kepler's laws of second law, especially of the planetary motion. This slide also shows you the same linear momentum uh, conservation and the concept of CM. Uh, actually, whenever we come across for finding out uh, the particular conservation, here uh, we come across uh, one such particular physical entity is your, what do you mean by torque is your, and hence obviously if the as shown in that of here this figure see here this is that particular figure shows you suppose a force acting on a single particle which is at a point p here it is a point p whose position with respect to the origin o is your is given by the position vector r as shown in this figure and what is the mi of the particle with respect to this origin o which is defined as the vector product that is 2 is equal to r bar cross f bar is equal to what here that is in terms of magnitude r f sine theta is one you know basically torque which is a vector quantity and obviously when we are to considering the actual uh, torque and angular momentum of system of particles are there here uh, the total angular uh, momentum of the system of particles about this given point p which is nothing but the addition of all these angular momentas are there of your individual particles which add a vectorially and we have to written in this manner that is torque 2 is equal to summation of an angular cross f i that is equal to due to external as well as the internal forces are there right similarly for total torque on a system of particles is addition of the torque on an individual particle add a vectorially and whenever we have to consider the actual torque which is resulting from that of here the internal forces which is zero and we know basically from Newton's third law, these forces are equal and opposite are there. So uh, always these forces act on the line joining these two particles are there. And when we come across for finding out such a uh, total time rate of that of here, the total angular momentum is your for such a system of particle is there, especially it is equal to the sum of the external torque acting on it. And we have to write it is in the manner dl by dt is equal to torque with respect to the external. As I uh, already told you, uh, this is the idea behind that of here the angular momentum conservation and the CN concept with respect to the Kepler's second law is you are. Uh, the same questions related to these topics uh, that was asked here. See, the velocity of a point uh, particle on the equator of a rotating planet is V velocity uh, for that point, uh, point particle on the equator of a rotating planet is given to you that is v the effect of the rotation of the planet is to make g at the equator a half of that at the poles right see the meaning of this statement is that here the effect of rotation of the planet is given to you which is to make at g what is that here at the equator the half of that at the poles so under this condition, if the escape velocity of the particle at the poles is Vp and that at the equator is Ve, then the correct relations, huh? see here, uh, the MCQ has also uh, either the one of the option uh, which should be correct one or uh, there are several, so many options. Sometimes all of the option, options uh, that should be also correct one. So see here, uh, the format uh, of uh, this particular type of questions are there. Then the correct relations are is or are, oblique are. What are those uh, options are given to you here? Vp is equal to under root 3 times V. Vp is equal to 2 times V. V is equal to 2 times V. And what is D? Uh, D option is V is equal to under root 3 times V is U. Right? So the problem is like that here. Here the velocity of a point particle on the equator is given to you. Uh, that is nothing but your V. We have to find out the actual 
that particular concept is your that is nothing but escape velocity of the particle at the pole is given to you vp at the equator it is your ve and we have to find out the correct relation so the first relation vp is equal to under root 3 times v uh, is it correct the answer to this question is yes huh? because now naturally whenever we have to find out the relation between that of your this time that term it is uh, it comes uh, with respect to this abbreviation uh, that is of your vp is equal to under root 3 times v what is then it is 2 times v when we have to consider the illustration with respect to the equator and then the correct relation is your also the escape velocity what is that of your ve same one has the same thing that is of your 2v and it is under root of 3v so it is half of that of your the pole and hence all the options are correct here hence the particular format or the particular uh, type of the question is your then the correct relations are obviously all the four uh, relation holds good in this particular type of the problem is your so basically the answer to this question is all four similarly the next mcq is your uh, related to the same what is that here uh, that is for a particular rigid body oscillating as a compound physical pendulum is your time period t is equal to 2p right whether it is of your 2p there are four points collinear with cg about which t is the same the c center of suspension and center of oscillation are interchangeable and the fourth one is your time period t has lower limit whenever we have to consider the compound physical pendulum is there obviously uh, there are rather changes with uh, as compared to that of your the simple pendulum so the first option is uh, totally wrong here that is time period is not equal to two, two times p but the second is correct here because uh, there are these four points collinear with the center of gravity of this particular compound end of the physical pendulum uh, at which uh, period t is same and uh, what is uh, the fourth one is your also that is the time period t has a lower limit and uh, here the center of suspension and the oscillation are interchangeable uh, this is not the correct one uh, we come across for finding out the one of the practical related to that of here the compound pendulum uh, in the same sense so this is a very uh, logical based question related to the practical our observations and uh, alliances are there for the same this is also the one of the most important uh, format uh, of uh, the particular type of the questions are there related to the uh, here the conservation concepts here so whenever we have to consider uh, the earth has a system of particle with respect to an inertial reference frame which is the linear momentum of the earth concept right consider the solar system as a system of particles whenever we have to consider the solar system as a system of particles is the linear momentum of the solar system is conserved that is the question uh, that was asked here so obviously we must know about uh, the particular conservation concept is your as far as uh, the previous slides are concerned here whenever we have to consider the actual momentum conservation in a system of particles uh, which is a very useful and important concept is your so we must be careful when we have to define uh, one such terminology related to these systems are there and uh, obviously this system definition should depends on the problem to be solved and in particular the accuracy desired to the solution is your so whenever we have to find out the actual uh, point here that should be remembered that the momentum which is never exactly conserved in a uh, particular system unless and until every body which exerts a force here on that uh, particular anybody in that of here the system is your and uh, uh, what do you mean by this particular statement is your that is let us consider suppose a gravity forces uh, which are acting only on the system of particles are there where momentum conservation holds exactly which is the system containing every particle in the universe is your and hence uh, by uh, uh, dropping certain kinds of the approximations from the system if the forces are exerting are small in comparison with those exerted by the other particles are there so obviously the linear momentum 
of the system gets conserved here. So this is again the one of the basic concepts behind the same. Uh, that is of here the fundas are there and basic idea behind this conservation of your linear as well as the angular momentum are there. Second uh, topic is nothing but uh, whenever we come across for finding out the actual concept of your the gravitation is your then naturally we come across for finding out the actual concepts of the gravitation are here. So uh, basically you know that what is the exact idea about that of here the Newton's law of gravitation are there. We know here uh, the basic idea behind that objects uh, always in the universe were attracted to each other in the same way that apple was attracted to the earth and that is the actual force of gravitation uh, which is given here that is fg is equal to g times mg m1 uh, m2 divided by r square what where what is the concept of your capital g and uh, that g is nothing but you are the constant of gravitation is your right there is again a difference between your capital g and that of your the small g you know basically the discovery for that of your the law of gravitation the way that uh, this law uh, uh, of your universal gravitation was discovered is often considered uh, as a paradigm of your the modern scientific technique is your and uh, the major steps involved were what are those major steps are involved here actual the hypothesis uh, about the planetary motion uh, which is given by your Nicholas Copernicus then afterward um, uh, whatever may be the measurements related to the problems uh, of the position of the planets uh, and that of your the sun by Tycho Brahe is your uh, along with uh, your Kepler then afterward uh, the successive transformation that should be put forth to us by Kepler uh, during near about 1571 to 1630 and in that manner the general development of the theory we should be focused here by your the Isaac Newton near about the period is your 1642 to that of year 1726. So the Newton's law of gravitation it states that every particle in the universe attracts every other particles are there with a force that which directly proportional to what is that? It is directly proportional to uh, you are the product of their masses and is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. So here we can write f is equal to g because it is directly proportional to m1 m2 upon r square when we have to remove the proportionality sign. It is a constant of gravitation. So it is given in this manner g it is known as what the universal gravitational constant is given. And uh, actual this formula which is applicable to spherically symmetric masses uh, or it is also known as what the point masses are here. You know basically, right? We have to write it is in the uh, vector form also. And then obviously we come across for finding out uh, these are the certain kinds of the features are here of that of here G M1 plus M2. This is the this slide that shows you the actual uh, G it is the constant of your uh, universal gravitation is your having the same uh, particular magnitude 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 Newton per meter square. Okay. This is an example of your universe square law. Uh, we, are, we must know or come across for finding out the actual gravitational force exerted by a uniform sphere is your and on a particle outside the sphere which is the same as the force exerted if the entire mass of the sphere were concentrated on its center is one and basically we know that uh, g value of that of here the g as i already uh, shows you in this particular uh, g is equal to 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kg square is one uh, what is the CGS unit is your obviously 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 dime centimeter square per, per gram square is your uh, having dimensions of mass length and time and its value is same throughout the universe is your g does not depend upon see here the one of the most important idea behind it because again in uh, 2013 and 15 NGP question paper uh, there is a uh, there uh, uh, is a question related to the same uh, particularly 
actually it was asked here but this is the basic idea behind it is your uh, what are those here that is uh, g does not depend upon the nature and the size of the bodies are here it does not depend even upon the nature of the medium between the two bodies are there this is the one of the most important thing that we must have to remember always and uh, its value was found uh, first found by the uh, scientists you know basically that is of your henry cavendish in year about 1790 with the help of the torsion balance experiment is well, right uh, this is the idea behind that of your this uh, concept of your newton's law of gravitation then uh, when we proceed further for finding out the actual free fall concept uh, what is that free fall acceleration and the concept of your gravitation is uh, gravitational force is your so this slide uh, clears you the idea uh, behind the same whenever we have to consider the object of mass and near the earth surface then uh, by using this concept of force basically g m1 m2 upon r square here m and e mass of the earth is your and radius of that of your the earth is your and that slide uh, shows you clearly the idea about that of your this particular uh, radius vector whenever we have to find out the acceleration ag due to gravity then uh, we have to find out the mass and then find out the re so when we put uh, these particular values then the acceleration due to gravity that should be obviously 9.8 meter per second square uh, one such uh, question that was asked here uh, how this uh acceleration free fall acceleration and the gravitational force due to this uh, the ag should be um, uh, related to that of your this concept of the uh, gravitational force is there and actual the value of uh, this ag that is equal to 9.8 meter per second square right so the answer to the same is like that here also when we consider the particular concept of the gravitation and then accordingly there are so many several examples of that of here the gravitational fields are there how the energy that comes to be considered in the same uh, type of the questions are there whenever we have to consider a circular orbit of a planet around the sun what keeps the planet moving in its circle so you know basically it is totally the centripetal force produced by that of here the gravitational force and obviously the force that should be uh, centripetal force you know basically what is that magnitude mv square upon r that is equal to here it is due to that of here this gravitation force is your uh, having the same concept g of mm upon r square what it implies here it implies that half of mv square is equal to g mm upon 2 times r is your right and making this substitution in the uh, expression for total energy what is that e Half of m v square minus g m m upon r that is equal to g m m upon two r minus g m m upon r. For circular orbits, it is given in this manner, and uh, which is total energy is obviously negative, and which is half the potential energy. Whenever we have to consider the orbital path, because it is an equation for that of your the orbit, so whenever we have to uh, focus on the elliptical orbits are there. obviously the r is replaced by the um, uh, semi image axis of the, uh, this particular ellipse that is your radius again r only by that of your a so e is equal to minus g m m upon 2 a is your this is the escape uh, speed is your one such example that was asked here uh, to find that of your the escape speed so it is the kinetic that is of your the particular total energy combination of your kinetic and the potential and what is what is the magnitude of your kinetic energy half of mv square and what should be that of your the potential that is of your minus g m m upon r you know basically and uh, whenever we have to consider for the earth it is about 11.2 km per second and uh, when we consider it is independent of the mass of the object then here that is the velocity should be written in this manner this table shows you the speeds of the planets and the moon is there uh, for your the information and now when we consider the actual concept of the most important idea about the gravitational field after uh, considering the gravitational field intensity because you people have already studied it at your 12 science level 
so obviously uh, those points uh, i uh, conceptually avoided there we have to focus on, on the same sense here and uh, now whenever we come across for finding out the actual um, study or the uh, to know the details about the kepler's laws are there so what are these kepler's laws are here and uh, basically uh, what are the important features in this case are there so basically we know that what is here uh, kepler's laws of planetary motion that is all planets move in an elliptical orbits with the sun at one end of the focal point sigma when we come across for finding out the basic features behind the same a line drawn from the sun to any planet sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time or obviously time intervals are there then obviously the third law which states you the square of the orbital period of any planet which is proportional to the cube of the average distance from the sun to the planet is you are right so these three laws which are very important here when we come across for finding out the features of these laws are there here the first law that shows you all planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one end of the focus right any object that should be bound to another by an inverse square law will move in a elliptical path second uh, what is that here as i already uh, given you the idea about that of here the distance say as shown in this figure see here this is a simple uh, it is rectum a is equal to ab by 2 which is the semi major axis distance b huh? that distance b which is cd by 2 right cd by 2 which is the semi minor axis and distance from one focus to the center of the ellipse is ea right ea where e is nothing but you are the eccentricity so for circular orbit you know that eccentricity e is zero right and which gets larger as the ellipse gets more pronounced is there right similarly in case of second law a line drawn from the sun to any planet will sweep out equal areas in equal interval of time uh, as uh, we have previously seen in our uh, slide how it is related to the conservation of angular momentum is there the same concept and the third one is your that is of here the kepler's third law and that is nothing but the square of the orbital period of any planet which is proportional to the cube of the average distance from the sun to the planet symbolically it can be written in this manner that is t square is directly proportional to a cube the constant of proportionality is here a which is t is nothing but the period of the planet what is a is nothing but the actual average distance from the sun and a is the length of that of here the semi major axis as the path is your uh, that is of here the elliptical orbit is your when we have to consider the uh, orbit around the sun then that is equal to obviously k will uh, replace or take uh, will take the form that is of here ks and it should be in this manner k is independent of the mass of the planet and that should be given by this uh, relation for pi square upon gms is your this is the same question uh, that should be asked here calculate the mass of the sun noting that the period of the earth's orbit around the sun is this and its distance from the sun is 1.496 into 10 raised to 11 meter so we know basically the formula is your uh, t square is equal to 4 pi square upon gm into a cube and what is then a, a, a here the capital m is your Uh, whenever we have to find out the mass here, that is uh, from this formula, t square is equal to four pi square upon g m into a cube. M uh, will uh, here four pi square upon g t square into a cube, and that should be uh, here. It is given that uh, period is given to you. Distance from the sun is also given to you. So it is a straightforward problem. Here uh, the answer should be in the form of one point ninety nine into ten raised to thirty. kilogram is one uh, this is also the one of the most important concept about uh, geosynchronous orbits are there and uh, whenever we have to find out the actual telecommunications point of view uh, we must know that for a satellite uh, uh, which is fixed at a one such particular location uh, with respect to its location on the earth is one 
uh, then we have to consider if the orbital period of the uh, actual satellite which is same as that of here the earth's period of rotation is given and what is that is your that is near about 24 hour so at uh, what distance from the center of the earth can this geosynchronous orbit be found and what is the orbital uh, speed of that of here the satellite is given so basically when we come across for finding out uh, this is the actual concept of that of here this satellite motion is what we know basically uh, when we have to given it is in the form of t is equal to 4 pi square upon gme into a cube that is equal to 24 hour means near about 86400 second is given and when we have to consider it is equal to the same that is the previous formula then it should be the total orbital period of this satellite is uh, we know basically in case of satellite motion uh, light body revolving around a heavier planet due to the gravitational attraction it is called as a satellite what do you mean by satellite obviously that it, it is a light body uh, which is revolving around a heavier planet and due to the influence of the gravitational attraction so uh, moon is a natural satellite of the earth you know basically what is for example moon is a natural satellite of the earth is given and hence uh, generally in case of satellite we come across for finding out the two important features are there the first one is what the natural satellite that is here moon revolving around the earth and the second one is your the concept of the artificial satellite is one in case of artificial satellite uh, there are uh, these particular types are your your heli synchronous and uh, geostationary satellites are there uh, heli he, synchronous uh, whenever we come across for finding out the sun synchronous are there or it is polar or geo satellite and the another uh, type is your the uh, geostationary satellites are there whenever we have to find out the actual essential conditions for that of here the satellite motion is over then the most important concept are here uh, that is basically uh, when we come across for finding out the actual conditions for the satellite motion is over the first one is over the center of the satellite orbit that should coincide with the center of the earth and uh, another concept is that of here the plane of the orbit of the satellite should pass through the center of the earth so one or two questions are there again uh, uh, under the particular mcq based type of questions are there so these two important concepts are very important the first one is what uh, what are the essential conditions of satellite motions are there the first one is where the center of satellites orbit should coincide with the center of the earth and secondly what is your the planet of the orbit of the satellite should pass through the center of the earth so uh, it uh, then can be considered that it follows that a satellite can revolve around the earth only in those circular orbit whose center coincides with the center of the earth is your and uh, whenever we have to consider then the concept of orbital velocity and then actually that of here this um, orbital velocity and uh, also that of here this particular concept of the actual um, satellite uh, whenever we have to consider the earth surface uh, having these particular conditions you know that this orbital velocity is equal to under root gm upon re or you can write it is equal to under root small g into re is there you know basically it is 8 kilometer per second uh, these are the particular fundas as you people have already studied at 12 science and as here uh, the particular circulation of such type of exams are including even FY part, FYB, C level. So uh, hence uh, there are certain questions, uh, those uh, they are focused on the very basic idea about classical physics, and such type of concepts are here. Now this is the same idea, the another point uh, here as far as that of here the question paper format is concerned that is of here escape velocity and escape energy so what is that escape velocity it is the minimum velocity required for an object which is located at the planet surface so that it just escapes the planet's gravitational field and hence naturally this is the most important idea behind it that is it just in, is escapes here 
this is the idea about the escape velocity and energy when we have to consider the projectile of mass leaving the surface of the planet is over then the projectile just escapes to infinity it has neither kinetic energy nor potential energy and from the conservation of mechanical energy we have to represent the solution in this manner here so this velocity we should be given in this form v escape is equal to under root 2 gm upon r that is equal to under root 2 gm upon r plus h because here r is nothing but what is your r plus h because uh, the actual body which is located uh, from that of here this location having with height h which is above the surface of the planet is one where r is the distance from the center of the planet and h is the height above the surface of the planet so certain theoretical uh, problems uh, which were asked here uh, related to this escape velocity and concept of escape energy so you people must have to remember only uh, the particular magnitude of escape energy and these velocities are even now uh, whenever i am going through this or sorting out certain kinds of the classical physics questions are there related to these particular features of uh, the question uh, formats are there i am seeking out and what are those here uh, the most important concept here again come across uh, towards me and what do you mean by the concept of your lab at cm frame especially this topic is now uh, in our ty bsc physics classical uh, mechanics uh, physics is there or classical physics is your uh, one of the most important idea behind that of here this particular uh, terms of reference are there uh, what is that uh, the features of this particular type of the physics is even having the idea behind that of your lab and cm frames are there right uh, so when we uh, consider this is the topic actually it is under the heading of that of your the uh, scattering theory of particles are there in which we have covered the topics of your elastic and inelastic scattering processes are there along with the certain relations and the here in this case uh, the actual elastic scattering in terms of this particular two types of the features are there and those are nothing but the laboratory and uh, center of mass frames are there right so uh, while uh, going further for finding out the actual concept of lab uh, system and your the cm systems are your basically we know that uh, certain kinds of the um, collision or scattering experiments are widely used in experimental tools are here in the study of the atomic and subatomic physics are here so when two particles approach each other then the force of interaction between them which plays a important role and the particle gets scattered here, right so uh, this is actual the scattering theory of particles and uh, even if we do not know the nature of the force we can apply the laws of conservation of momentum and energy and whatever may be the uh, sufficient information that can be obtained as well suppose uh, whenever we have to consider uh, that particular uh, basic formulation regarding uh, the scattering process due to the interaction uh, of uh, uh, such kinds of the particles are there obviously uh, we must know there are two types of scatterings are there one is of here the elastic one and the second one is of here the inelastic scattering we know basically in elastic scattering the total kinetic energy of all the particles before scattering is equal to that of here the after scattering and elastic scattering only occurs if the uh, what happens here if there is no net conversion of that kinetic energy into the other forms here so obviously uh, the kinetic energy before and after scattering must be equal there and the kinetic energy as well as momentum is also conserved in case of elastic scattering on the other hand in inelastic scattering this is not the case only what happens here actual the kinetic energy of the colliding, colliding bodies is not conserved here but uh, only the momentum gets conserved and hence naturally depending upon this if uh, 
the amount of energy that should be lost during the collision and uh, amount of energy that should be absorbed in the collision is there you know basically that excess amount of energy can be represented by the symbolic letter that is of your capital q suppose that q is less than zero then the final kinetic energy of the two particles which is greater than the initial kinetic energy and in this case the process uh, in this uh, process the energy is released and at, at actually it is known as your the exergic type of reaction or it is known as your the exothermic and uh, obviously vice versa if q greater than zero then the final kinetic energy of the two particles is less than the initial one and hence the particular topic that gives you the idea about that of here this endergic or the endothermic type of uh, reactions are there basically when we are consider the now the electric scattering in this particular systems are your lab system and center of mass systems are here see here uh, we have to consider uh, the velocities of the particles which are very small as compared to that of here the velocity of light is your hence uh, we will use here the non relativistic concept in general case when we come across for finding out that these two particles move in such a direction that they they come closer uh, to each other collide and after collision uh, move away from each other then the linear momentum as well as your the kinetic energy is conserved during collision is your so uh, in order to carry out this is the actual conservation uh, of the momentum and kinetic energy we need the frame of reference as are there and hence basically this is a very important concept uh, those uh, students who are studying at aqua level uh, for uh, those uh, this is very important idea is there that is uh, generally here uh, in order to carry out uh, the actual concept of conservation of momentum and energy we require the frame of reference as well and the scattering process in general it is studied in this particular two important aspects are there uh, generally two uh, i mean here the frame of reference as are here which are those the first one is your the laboratory reference frame and the another one is your the center of mass reference frame is your so what is that laboratory reference frame the picture that clearly shows you the idea about the same before collision here uh, uh, here the slide uh, shows you the idea about uh, the same that is before collision and after collision what should be the exact processes are there so the scattering experiments are often carried out in which one of the particle is always at rest and the another which approaches towards it and hence here this is the particle having mass m2 having its initial velocity u2 which is at rates that's why it is given in this slide it is equal to zero before collision and the first particle which is approaching towards it is your right such a system in which a particle collides with that of your this another particle is your at rest it is called as your the laboratory frame or in short it is known as your the lab frame is your of reference right it is laboratory reference frame or laboratory frame of reference or in short lab frame is your right and whenever we have to consider the two particles see here this is the situation before collision and this is the situation after collision is your having their final velocities v1 and v2 so when we consider now the two particles of masses m1 and m2 the particle of mass m2 which is at rest as i already told you having this particular initial velocity u2 is equal to 0 and naturally when we come across for finding out uh, the process after collision is your so uh, this after collision the m1 moves with velocity v1 is your along the direction making an angle phi and whatever may be m2 moves with velocity v2 making an angle alpha is your Uh, rather on that uh, uh, on the contrary in case of center of mass frame before collision and after collision these are the situations are there what is that here here the particle m1 is called as the projectile because as it approaches it projects and m2 is nothing but at rest so obviously it is your the 
actual uh, the particular target is your you know basically so these are the very wonderful concepts are here and whenever we come across for finding out the actual relations for their velocities and then after the scattering cross sections and then what is the uh, actual concept of your rutherford scattering related to the same it is a very nice uh, mechanics is behind that of your such a type of scattering motion is your but uh, uh, rather it till uh, to that of here the uh, i mean here the boundary of that of here the ngp is concerned uh, this is the particular case conservation of linear momentum you know basically m1 u1 bar is equal to m1 v1 bar plus m2 v2 bar and conservation of energy also the symbolic representation is your you know basically half of m1 u1 square is equal to half of m1 v1 square plus half of m2 v2 square is your and angle uh, theta uh, sometimes in some other books also it is abbreviated with respect to these symbolic representations are there but generally the angle of theta is known as your the angle of scattering in this lab frame is your now on the contrary what is your cm uh, center of mass frame is your so basically uh, when the collision between two bodies is observed in a coordinate system in which the cm is at rest see here this slide also shows you the same when the cm is at rest the coordinate system is re referred as your cm system or in short it is known as your the cm system as well and in this system the collision between the two particles which is treated as if they have equal and opposite momenta see here the direction is shows you the particular theoretical work that is of your opposite so obviously uh, here in this system the collision between two two particles which is treated as if they have equal and opposite momenta as well and hence uh when we are considering before collision these two particles which approach here before collision these two particles approach the cm as in opposite direction and after collision the two particles move away from their cm see the second after collision the second uh, picture or the figure shows you the idea about the same after collision the two particles move away from the cm in opposite direction as well right so um, obviously when we consider uh, the other particular periphery in this game the situation looks like this m2 is initially at rest in the cm frame the situation look like this here that is this is to an observer moving with respect to the cm as well these are the fantastic relations between their velocities of the particle in center of mass and laboratory uh, frames of reference are you so when we come across for finding out these are the observations are your along with the velocities basically uh, uh, at this level as per as the ngp format is question uh, the only the relations which are very important here of that of your vcf and that is of your initial velocity then what is of here the actual before collision and after uh, collision what are the actual relations that should holds good related to that of your this transformation in lab and cm frame and uh, what is the uh, most important topic is your relationship between scattering angle in cm and the laboratory frames of reference are there so these are the very important topics uh, those uh, whenever we have to consider uh, right uh, as a part of the ngp exam pattern is concerned and uh, i think that i have tried uh, my best to give you the idea behind the basic concept and some problems are there associated with the same as your certain kinds of the references that should uh, always use in classical mechanics there are so many several uh, references are there uh, as per as that of your the new era of your the uh, technology uh, developments and uh, rapid uh, transformations are concerned or whatever may be your online learning uh, teaching learning process is there uh, there are so many updations uh, day to day uh, by giving uh, so many people and uh, scientists and respected authors are giving their contribution for finding out the basics behind this uh, whole entire uh, world of the physical sciences are there but especially the classical mechanics the books are like that here 
Goldstein, uh, which is uh, of that of your Narosa Publishing. Then Dynamics of Particles of System by Median and uh, Thomtron is there. Then Classical Mechanics by P. V. Panatsa. Uh, then also by N. C. Rana and Zhu, which is TMH publication is there. Introduction to Classical Mechanics by Takole sir and uh, Puranik sir is there, Takole Puranik. Again, the publication is of that of your Tata Macrohill Publishing Company as well. Classical Mechanics, this is also the one of the most important here. This is that book uh, having a very simple language as compared to that of your the Goldstein, Rana Zou, that is of your by J.C. Upadde, uh, which is uh, offering by that of your Himalaya Publishing. Also, the one of the most important concept is they are related to this. That is of here the uh, physics of uh, S. Chan publications are there, which is written by your uh, uh, R. K. Mehta and N. K. Mehta. Uh, then also by Wire Vagmari Pragati Prakashan books are there. So uh, whenever we come across for finding out the important concepts related to the uh, fundas and the basics related to such physics are there. Uh, especially you are uh, theoretical i mean you are the theoretical physics is your then you must have to use the several references are there and you must have to concentrate on the basics uh, those uh, were asked here in the form of either uh, theoretical short answer questions are there or mcqs are there or uh, long answer questions are there or again under the objective type of questions are there so i think that um, uh, as far as it is a very far vast topic is your and vast subject is your uh, here uh, these are my uh, particular uh, features of the topics that uh, i uh, tried my best here to give you but um, uh, this is not <laughs> the particular peak again there are so many several points and, and i'm also eager to discuss with you related to the same whatever may be, if the authority will permit, right? So uh, we show all the best uh, for your, this particular exams are here. NGP exams, not only related to the NGP exams are here, but also for your best future, bright future, and uh, whatever may be uh, your ambitions and aspirations uh, in the next uh, forthcoming, uh, you are uh, pursuing your careers are there. So uh, on the behalf of my management principal, my physics department, I would like to thank you. Thanks for your uh, patience uh, hearing here uh, related to this particular entire subject. And uh, I, would one, I would like to thank you once again, uh, respected Professor Bharat Kangude sir, uh, Professor Dr. Varsha Joshi madam, uh, Dr. Sandeep Kapkade sir and all the respected authorities uh, related to this NGP exams and all my <coughs> entire respected professors of physics world as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Am nice. I audible? Uh, yes, yes, yes. You are. You are. You are. No problem. Yeah, ma'am. You are audible. Now, sir. So, yeah. Uh, very nice talk, ma'am. Uh, can we go for question and answer session? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll ask her. Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. Can yes. we go for sharing? Hello. Yes. No, no. Yes, uh, I am yes, talking to Jessie, madam. Ma'am, are you hearing okay. me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, let's we'll move towards the question and answer session. Yeah. There may be a few questions. Hello. Can I ask yes, a question? Yes, so the question is that yes. uh, could you comment on GR gravity and Newton gravity? Yes, uh, gravitational gravity and Newtonian gravity. Can you comment on that? This is what the question. And GR means yeah, general yeah. relativity gravity. General relativity gravity and Newtonian gravity. That is the general relativity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sir. Uh, sir, actually, whenever we come across for the concept of your uh, this particular gravity is there, 
basically uh, we know that what is uh, the actual uh, newton's law of universal gravitation which we usually stated as that every particle attracts every other particle in the universe with a force that is directly proportional to the product of the uh, uh, masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the center is your whenever i have considered that uh, uh, always pe people often gets confused here uh, by the additional complication that newtonian einstein gravity are often discussed in different mathematical formalisms are there the key difference is that newtonian gravity has a privilege separation of space time into space and time uh, whereas einstein gravity just as a space time relation is your so i think that uh, this is the actual concept behind the same and uh, general uh, relativity theory whenever we come across for finding out in uh, gravitational energy in case of newtonian gravity then uh, this is the local field theory in mind one may ask here whatever may be the next step uh, towards uh, which is free from the conceptual and uh, the interpretive manner is your uh possibly um, maybe uh, these are my limitations but uh, uh, kangude sir also uh, helps me regarding the same whether i am on the right track or not is your yes yes yeah 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 okay no issue no issue so thank you ma'am very nice answer so now we have some basic question that can you uh, differentiate between the center of mass and center of gravity Uh, yeah already uh, we had predicted here the concept of cn and that of here the center of uh, gravity is your so when we come across for finding out the center of mass and the concept of center of gravity so actually center of mass means what here that is uh, the point at which the distribution of mass is equal to uh, is equal in all direction and which it does not depends upon the gravitational field is your but center of gravity is the point at which the distribution of weight is equal in all directions and does depend on the gravitational field so actual the difference between cm and the center of gravity is like that here right so uh, whenever we have to consider the distribution of weight is equal in all direction that is uh, totally your cg and when we are consider the total mass is equal in all direction then it does not depends on the gravitational field is your so i think that uh, this is the proper explanation for the same yeah yeah and uh, uh, and, and, I, and one thing is that when we come across for finding out uh, here this uh, do the cg and the cm uh, coincide here so uh, in a uniform gravitational field the center of gravity is identical to the center of mass yeah. that's correct yeah so uh, thank you ma'am since this is a very basic questions and confusing some uh, many times actually to the students so uh, thanks a lot now the next question is that can you uh, explain the difference between geostationary and geosynchronized satellites or like this physical phenomena geostationary and geosynchronized hello i think this is a uh... hearing yeah am i audible yes yes yeah, ma'am yes, ma ah what is the next question sir what will... the question is that can you explain uh, can you comment on the geosynchronized and geostationary things or orbit ah, so, uh, yeah yeah uh, that is the difference between geostationary and geosynchronous orbit right right yeah ha ah. Uh, uh i think that geosynchronous satellites can have any inclination right but uh, the key difference is to geostationary orbit is the fact that they lie on the same plane as the equator so in case of geosynchronous satellite uh, they have any inclination but the key difference is that uh, they lie on the same plane as the equator 
and uh, geostationary orbits fall in the same category as that of near the geosynchronous orbits but uh, it's parked over the equator yeah yeah okay. thank you it is not lying yeah. on the same planes it is outside that is parked yeah. over the equator from near earth we look then uh, from our planet then that will just like a stationary one so that's yeah. why i called it एनर्जी टू रिवॉल अराउंड सन this is not particularly related with the classical mechanics a general question that from where does the earth gets energy to revolve around the sun so actually uh, yeah, uh, what what is the question sir question is that uh, from where does earth get energy to revolve around the sun अच्छा ओके सर बेसिकली द सन इज अर्थ प्राइमरी सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी राइट सो हाँ एंड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द सन टू ऑल अदर एक्सटर्नल सोर्सेस वेन एवर वी कम अक्रॉस फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट अर्थ क्लाइमेट सिस्टम व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट सेवन इसेंशियल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ क्लाइमेट साइंस इज देर आई मीन एज पर एज यूअर क्लाइमेट फिजिक्स इज कंसर्न so whenever we have to consider the earth's climate system and energy balance the sun warms the planet which it drives the uh, actual this is i mean here we cycle uh, i think hydrologic cycle is one and which makes life on the earth possible right so basically actually sun is the universal source of energy yeah. and that is actually the source and uh, behind the rotation of earth there are number of reasons magnetic fields and all that no so uh, ro- rotation rotation of earth around sun is right from the beginning so when this earth was formed at the time of when this solar system formed so whatever yeah. energy that all that particle from which earth uh, form that energy is basically responsible that 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 system that means to have this type of continuous system working system uh, the system at equilibrium so that earth must rotate around the sun otherwise within fraction of second it will collapse to the sun not to yeah, collapse very nice earth. very nice the earth is continuously revolving around sun in a particular uh, given orbit so that energy to this system equilibrium system is right from the beginning when this earth itself form up, up, uh, uh, out of the debris whatever present around sun at that time so this is uh, merely uh, this energy given is more, more than 4.5 billion years earlier and this same energy is earth is using and because of that it is rotating around the sun that can be that can be one of the answer of this question that particular yeah, yeah. Will have. it's yeah. actually the question is that why the earth is rotating uh, just a minute sir i think that uh, in uh, the alternative when uh, when we think about the all the energy in oil gas or coal originally came from the sun and which is captured through yeah, photosynthesis yeah. process also right yeah right that 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 that's that's why we call it is an universal source yeah yeah hmm. uh, there is another question ma'am so according hmm. to classical mechanics every revolving object loses energy or mass actually we have to say so does this mean one day earth will run out of energy and collapse on the sun she is asking that so we are saying that if the object is in circular motion continuously rotation sir, motion i i am sir this is not yeah. going to happen this is not ah, going to happen because of the conservation of angular momentum yeah yeah conservation of concept. angular momentum yeah principle will not allow to fall earth on the sun but some day if sun sun the uh, gravitational pull of the sun becomes much more when when sun becomes a white dot or black dot black white whatever may be the case so right. in that case there is a possibility that earth will be pulled inside the sun but that that at present at least for 2 to 4 billion years this thing is not going to happen so in what way earth will get uh, engulfed into sun that is again a different theory 
yeah 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 so ma'am there is a another question related with the classical mechanics can you explain about the importance of lagrangian ha ah, yeah uh, this is a very nice topic uh, but uh, i can't found any uh, kind of questions related questions. to there are no questions ha ah, uh, yeah but uh, this is a very fantastic mechanism uh, it is uh, rather uh, apart from that of here the newtonian mechanics right and uh, generally uh, we consider these two kinds of the formulations in case of this classical mechanics are there Uh, those are your the uh, to overcome the limitations of newtonian mechanics we consider uh, such type of these uh, lagrangian mechanics are there and uh, also your hamiltonian one because while solving certain kinds of the problems in mechanics uh, which uh, we write uh, the actual equations of motion in terms of cartesian or polar coordinates whenever we consider the central force field problem is your Uh, generally we use basically the polar coordinates r and theta is there and when we consider the projectile motion using cartesian coordinate systems are your then uh, there are certain uh, complex things are there whatever may be uh, their original uh, presence of various forces and constraints are there so uh, i think that here uh, we have an alternative way to use uh, such formulation in terms of a generalized coordinate system sir not related to the uh, those are the same as per as newton's uh, mechanic newtonian mechanics is concerned the meaning is same but differently we can use uh, their particular position vector in terms of a generalized coordinates are there and uh, which is a very essential formulation and it, it uh, will become quite easy uh, to solve the certain physical problems are there in case of this lagrange Yes. okay so almost all questions are over related with the classical mechanics uh, thank you ma'am uh, you have given a very wonderful talk uh, on the classical mechanics now i will to i would like to request uh, professor varsha joshi to uh, give a vote of thanks thank you kakade sir am i visible sir yeah ma'am yes, ma yes you are visible i am here to propose a vote of thanks firstly i would like to thank today's speaker dr jayashri bagode from vidya pratishthan bag college baramati she has given a nice presentation on classical mechanics and also answered the question related based to somewhat astro also in a very nice manner thank you madam for your presentation i would like to thank principal sp college and science association of sp college for giving platform to students in view of this lecture series in collaboration with iapt pune regional chapter rc 08c i would like to thank professor bharat kangude chair president of this iapt pune chapter and also dr sandeep kakade who is the brain behind all arranging all this lecture series thank you very much sir i would like to thank all the students who are participating in this particular lecture series and making this event successful i would like to thank all those who have helped in organizing this particular lecture series thank you all thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. thank you ma'am now i would yes, like to request to all the participants please join for the next session which will be delivered by professor shaji kharat on the topic of mathematical methods in physics he is from ferguson college so i would like to request you to join the tomorrow session at 6 pm and thank you all once again and 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 also also request them to the, this uh, essay competition state level essay competition is also organized yeah, by so, uh, we are also requesting you can say sir yeah yeah thank you very much sir thank you ma'am thank you thank you madam thank you thanks sir so we are request we are requesting to uh, participate in the state level essay competition organized by science association sir parshuram bhav college pune in association with 
our Indian Association of Physics Teachers, Pune chapter. So I would like to request you, please uh, go through the browser, which is there on Facebook page, as well as on your WhatsApp group. I select your topic and you can start to write the essay. Uh, hopefully we'll be the winner and we'll get the good prize. So mm -hmm. we are welcoming you all for this activity. And once again, thanks to all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wish, you, wish you all the best also for this particular yeah, activity. Oh, yes. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Well, that is always with you. Now. Yeah. Is not yeah. there.